Isabel Hadid, Emma Watson, where are you guys? I don't have, like, I'm exhausted to start another video talking about why is everyone condemning basically nothing except Israel. Oh, we don't care about what's going on in Russia. We don't care about Ukraine. But Israel, that we care about. So hello everyone, for those of you guys who do not know me. My name is Gillian, I talk about everything from Israel to Judaism and Zionism. I'm an Israeli, I live in Israel, born and raised here. Um, studied political science my entire life to try and figure out how we can solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. I have yet to find a solution. I do think that if Israelis and Palestinians talk, they would realize that they're not that different. Anyway, this is not what I'm here to talk about. I'm not here to talk about Israel-Palestinian co uh, conflict, but the fact that everyone are just hypocrites. Bella Hadid, the girl who goes out to New York streets and chants the streets from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, has remained silent. Um, when Russia has invaded Ukraine and when Russia has invaded Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, where uh, Ukrainian citizens are being slaughtered, she says, I just have so many thoughts. Well, where are your thoughts? What are you trying to say? Why are you back home not talking about the Ukrainians. Is it important to liberate them as well? Why is it just when it comes to Israel and Palestine you're talking about it? Maybe because it's trendy and you're profiting from that. And Emma Watson. Now don't get me even started Emma Watson. I made an entire video about her being so upset that my childhood hero is now condemning Israel until I realized that it's not even her managing her Instagram account. But apparently the girl who is so caring about what's going on in uh, Israel and Palestine and have managed to cheer up and root up for Hamas, uh, the terror organization controlling the Gaza Strip, doesn't give a damn about what's going on in Ukraine. People care about what's going on in Israel because it's trendy or because we're Jewish and that's anti-Semitism. Because anti-Zionism is for sure, for the most part, anti-Semitism. Instead of blaming the Jews, they'll blame the Jewish nation. It's easier to blame uh, the Jewish nation. That's why you won't look racist because it's Israel. It's not the Jewish people. It's not Jews. But when you ask them more about their political opinion, about their what they know about it, they will go to Jews, the people, the people. So yeah, for now on, I haven't seen Dua Lipa or anyone talk about what's going on in Ukraine. Where are they? So if you guys ever doubted the fact that anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism, here's your proof. No one gives a damn about what's going on in this world, except, except when it's related to the Jews and how we can blame them and how can we make them look bad. Oh, maybe we'll uh, make Israel an apartheid state, although it's not an apartheid state. We'll give an part, a, part, a new definition and then we'll try to prove it. Why? Why are people so obsessed with Israel? Why are people so obsessed with Jews? Why? Anyway, you guys, Ukraine's really struggling. Their president and their people are suffering so much right now. They're fighting like heroes. Heroes. They're doing everything they can to stop Russia from entering Ukraine, from invading. I don't know how much they're succeeding, to be honest. Um, and I really want to stop everyone and to stop everything we're doing. And for those of you guys who are watching uh, this video, let's just stop and... Pray for Ukraine. Pray for democracy for a moment. Um, pray that the light will always win the dark. Ukraine, I stand with you.